Astrology had an important role in the ancient world. You can't understand many things unless you know something about astrology, the plays of Shakespeare and so on. I've done maybe 12 of Shakespeare's plays. I was with the Royal Shakespeare Company for years. Whatever influence that has never leaves you. If you learn to drive a car, and you learn the right way if there is ever a right way. You learn the good aspects, you learn to drive properly. And that never leaves you. Prior to Wordsworth, humor was an essential part of poetry. I mean, they don't call them Shakespeare comedies for nothing. Shakespeare is all big themes, like the most amazing love, or the most scary war. Shakespeare, I was very influenced, still am, by Shakespeare. I couldn't believe that a white man in the 16th century could so know my heart. You may be able to read Bernard Shaw's plays, you may be able to quote Shakespeare or Voltaire or some new philosopher, but if you and yourself are not intelligent, if you are not creative, what is the point of this education? I think it's sad that movies and television have caused the theater to fade as a popular art form. I hope to get young people into the theater and expose them to Shakespeare. Historically, Macbeth is one of the greatest kings Scotland ever had. He was on the throne for 19 years. And he simply has this dreadful reputation because Shakespeare manipulated history for the benefit of James I, who was paying him to write the play to blacken Macbeth's name. My mother was the greatest mother in the world. She thought I was the greatest thing on two feet. I'd come home with a little composition I had written at school, and she'd look at it and say, it's wonderful. You're another Shakespeare. I always assumed I could do anything. It really is amazing how much that has to do with your attitude. It's often assumed that British actors read Shakespeare and sonnets as we're going to bed at night and we're all very familiar with it. Shakespeare wrote about love, I write about love. Shakespeare wrote about gang warfare, family feuds, and revenge. I write about all the same things. Algebra looked like Chinese characters to me, and I could never get into reading Shakespeare. I just did not get it. Shakespeare is the happy hunting ground of all minds that have lost their balance. I'd like people to remember me for a diligent expert workman. I think a poet is a workman. I think Shakespeare was a workman. And God's a workman. I don't think there's anything better than a workman. Shakespeare does a great job of taking 5,000-year-old stories and turning them into modern pieces that are true to the original essence but are completely remade. Now we sit through Shakespeare in order to recognize the quotations. I think that short films often contain an originality a creative freedom, an energy, and an invention that is inspiring and entertaining. I think they are, as Shakespeare put it, a good deed in a naughty world. It's amazing how, age after age, in country after country, and in all languages, Shakespeare emerges as incomparable. The printing press was at first mistaken for an engine of immortality by everybody except Shakespeare. I'd love Shaky Bill to tell me a story, I mean, William Shakespeare, he could squeak a nib couldn't he? A remarkable thing about Shakespeare is that he is really very good in spite of all the people who say he is very good. There is hardly a pioneer's hut which does not contain a few odd volumes of Shakespeare. I remember reading the feudal drama of Henry V for the first time in a log cabin. And it was the idea that you can do a play, like a Shakespeare play, or any well-written play, Arthur Miller, whatever, and say things you could never imagine saying, never imagine thinking in your own life. I have tried lately to read Shakespeare, and found it so intolerably dull that it nauseated me. I read Shakespeare and the Bible, and I can shoot dice. That's what I call a liberal education. I'm one of those people that feels that Americans that shouldn't do Shakespeare. The rhythms of the English language and the mannerisms of the English speech seems to work effortlessly with William Shakespeare, but when Americans do it, something seems stuck. I love the Shakespeare history plays. I love the struggle for the crown as a plot. I kept writing not because I felt I was so good, but because I felt they were so bad, including Shakespeare, all those. The stilted formalism, like chewing cardboard. Any good piece of material like Shakespeare ought to be open to reinterpretation. Shakespeare was a man who wrote poetry. I'm a man who writes poetry. Why not compare yourself to the best? I don't fool myself. I can't see myself doing Shakespeare. First of all, there was a volcano of words, an eruption of words that Shakespeare had never used before that had never been used in the English language before. It's astonishing. It pours out of him. Shakespeare's taught me that there are more words in the English language than I have got in my head.
In fact, it is Shakespeare who gives us the map of the mind. It is Shakespeare who invents Freudian psychology. Freud finds ways of translating it into supposedly analytical vocabulary. We were not allowed to say, screw, but we could say, hump the hostess, because hump is in Shakespeare. I'm sure if Shakespeare were alive today, he'd be doing classic guitar solos on YouTube. The Bible is very resonant. It has everything, creation, betrayal, lust, poetry, prophecy, sacrifice. All great things are in the Bible, and all great writers have drawn from it and more than people realize, whether Shakespeare, Herman Melville or Bob Dylan. Shaw is like a train, one just speaks the words and sits in one's place. But Shakespeare is like bathing in the sea, one swims where one wants. Shakespeare's plays are more violent than Scarface. As a young man, Yeats spoke to me in a way I could understand. Shakespeare I couldn't understand, but Yeats I could. It was his subject matter and also I really admired the way he put his personal life on the line. The reason there's no modern day Shakespeare is because he didn't have anything to do except sit in a room with a candle and think. I've never read it because I'd like to see one Shakespeare play that I don't know what happens. I close my ears and hum whenever I hear anything about Pericles, Prince of Tyre. Was there ever such stuff as great as part of Shakespeare? Only one must not say so. But what think you? What? Is there not sad stuff? What? What? I am a close friend of Robert Loggia, and I just love how, with actors, there's the screen persona. Here is Robert, known for his portrayal of many characters, including gangsters. But in real life, he is elegant and erudite. He sits in the garden reading the sonnets of William Shakespeare. Find enough clever things to say, and you're a prime minister write them down and you're a Shakespeare. One of the most beautiful things about Shakespeare's Hamlet is when he stops in the middle of the play to ask, to be or not to be? Then, right at the end, he decides to, let be. The first season of, Stranger Things was Hopper asking whether, to be or not to be, and the second is to, let be. I thought I'd begin by reading a poem by Shakespeare, but then I thought, why should I? He never reads any of mine. My father was an athlete, a great athlete, fought in the Marines in World War I. He was all sports and activity. My mother was all academics. I still have the complete works of Shakespeare that she had. Ooh, it's too embarrassing to share my innermost romantic secrets, although I have written Danielle the odd poem. If anything they are more comedic than romantic. They used to be well received but that was before she started studying Shakespeare at drama college. Now I feel so inept. Shakespeare reveals human nature brilliantly, he shines a light on our instinctive desire to dominate each other. Visit our website for more quotes, quoting.com.